Hello again. Thanks for everybody tuning in. I'd like to thank my subscribers, both new and old, that have stuck with me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why not pick this time before I start? Hit the subscribe and, uh, and the bell to get future notifications of videos I got coming out. Today, as you saw in my video frontline picture, I'm using the PAA Prismatic, which is a remake of the Kirby Beard and Company 1930 razor. And this is one beauty. Got a beautiful scallop top. Very nice thin profile. Uh, it's got a big wide gap and yet it's uh, uh, it's uh, very good about taking uh, several days beard growth and yet doing it at the same time it's a quite mild razor. Got it on the beautiful Yaki handle which gives it excellent balance and control perfect length and weight. Uh, I just love the looks of it and the feel of it and the way that it shapes in this configuration. And also I have a headliner here. Uh, a lot of people ask me, they know I've got a lot of yakky synthetic brushes and uh, I'll be honest, uh, a lot of people have asked me what is my uh, top yakky synthetic brush uh, sometimes they say for the money sometimes they just say period and uh, there's a new brush that came out I want to grab something here for a minute um, this brush is right up on my in my top five it's a yakky Ferrari and the reason it's it's uh, my top pick is the, the height of the handle and the shape of the handle. This has a, this has a perfect scallop right here. And the handle itself uh, is not too tall and not too short. And when you grab this handle, it feels nothing but absolutely natural in your hand. This has got a beautiful um, knot on it. Uh, the cashmere knot, and uh, really, really, really love that brush. It's right up there on top. But Yaki just came out with this one. Look at this thing. Look at the beauty in that purple color. Now, the reason I pointed out this one, this has pretty much exactly the perfect geometry in the handle like the Ferrari handles do, the 24 mm Ferrari handles. And it's got that perfect indentation. It's got that perfect height. And it's got that, it's got just, in my opinion, the perfect circumference. Uh, so number one, this handle is not only beautiful, it's, in my opinion, Yaki's best geometry on any of their handles. Now, the clincher on this is, this has the new Yaki Mink knot. It's called the Mink. Uh, I guess it's because it looks so luxurious and it looks like a mink. It's kind of a, it's kind of a beige or a light brown color with these light beige uh, tips. And uh, I'm going to tell you, I used this brush a couple of times already. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, if you want to know what I think's the best all around Yaki synthetic brush, here it is. Here it is. This knot uh, performs as good or better than any of the Yaki synthetic knots I I have, which I have a lot of. And the handle is, as I say, perfect size perfect geometry and not only that you take the whole of the brush it's absolutely gorgeous so uh with that said i'm going to get right into the shave here i have planned i'm going to wet this beautiful brush here i'm uh, going to get it nice and warm 
with some nice hot water. And I'm going to grab my one of my favorite all-time soaps that I will always, always, always have in my den. Don Marco from Razor Rock. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Uh, I mean, I could live on this scent. So what I'm going to do, uh, like I say, I've got this brush warmed. Shook it out a couple times, and I'm just going to show you right here in the camera what's going on. Okay, now normally I would go to my scuttle or something like that, but you know what? This brush is so good at loading up and lathering. I'm going to just uh, take it straight off, straight off the puck here, and I'm going to the face. Here we go. Look at that. Look at this thing perform. Didn't bowl leather it, nothing. Dipped it into Razor Rock. Don Marco. Not long as you saw. Oh my. Look at this thing. This new mink knot, gotta tell you, I absolutely love this thing. So, you wanted my answer? What's the best for the money or best period right now, in my opinion? Right here, the new purple hand handle uh, mink 24 miller, millimeter synthetic knot from Yaki. My goodness, you guys. There is the proof in the pudding. Okay, I'm going to get my prismatic here warmed up. And let's go for it. Yeah, baby. If any of you guys have the prismatic, you know what I'm talking about. This razor is one of the most efficient, smoothest dang razors you will ever use. Period. And I'm pretty excited about it because it's, a, like I say, a remake of a very rare and hard to get. Kirby and Beard razor uh, that was uh, the company was located in England, but the factory was located in France pre pre World War II. They had uh, probably 15 good years of production on this razor, uh, mostly uh, I believe totally over there in Europe, and uh, would be very hard to very hard for anyone to get one of these if it weren't for uh, Phoenix Acoustimates uh, doing this remake and uh, I really like supporting that effort uh, you know companies like uh, Gillette dumped the DE shaver for their high profit margins on cartridges. So uh, that's why I like supporting new DE razor companies and
companies that are making remakes of the classics. Because uh, Gillette dumped us, but we're bringing our own. We're, we're, uh, we've got people that are bringing uh, DE shaving back into the mainstream. And uh, personally, I love it. Like I say, this uh, this is just a beautiful shaver here. I'm gonna look. I forgot what blade I put in this, so I can tell you. Okay. Yeah, I got a Nasset in it. Gillette Nasset blade. Uh, since this was a mild, mild shaver in the scheme of things, loaded her up with, uh, well, Gillette has said is, even though it's an extremely smooth blade, uh, it ranks uh, right up there with some of the very best blades in, uh, in sharpness. And it uh, holds that consistent level of sharpness. They say, the testers do, for three to four shaves very consistently. And I find that to be pretty much true uh, in using this, the set blade. get very, I get very consistent, you know, shave after shave, but truthfully, I only go maximum of three shaves on any blade. I figure for the relatively low cost of DE blades, I'm just not, I, I just uh, not one of these kind of people that you know, push them till they, till they don't work. Just not my thing. So I'm going back. I'm going to grab that brush one more time. Mm. Don Marco from Razor Rock. The re I will, like I say, I'll have this. I will have this soap in my den till the day I pass on. Because I love it that much. If you ever smell this stuff, you'll understand. And the performance is great too. And uh, I think my last can of this I picked up for about, I don't know, seven bucks or something. I mean, crazy value. It's just crazy good. Okay, so I went straight down. So, so uh, for my final pass, I'm just going to go down the side here. That way. Up this way.
PAA Prismatic on a Yaki Handa. Yeah. It's a set blade. It was a new one and it's actually getting smoother on the second pass. Folks, that will do it. I've turned into a uh, maximum two-pass shaver now. And uh, my technique, to be honest with you, has gotten so much better that uh, I can get BBS shaves with a uh, two-pass. And... Uh, going a lot easier and nicer on my skin and whole nine yards. So what I'll do, let me spray on some witch hazel. Throw on some barber saw. and the barber saw. Wipe off the soap clean. Grab some Don Marco after shave. Oh baby! 100% great shave. Feels good. And I love it. So, again, my number one choice for Yaki Synthetic Brush. It's called the Purple Handle. 24 millimeter mink knot. It's an average price brush for Yaki and it just performs great. And I think it's beautiful. It has a supernatural feel in your hand. And so that's my pick right there for the top brush. Love the Prismatic. It's always faithful. Love the Don Marco soap. And that's going to be the shave for today. Thanks a lot for joining me. I hope you'll click the subscribe and the bell and give me a like if you like my video. And that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in. It's been Kit with DE Shave Talk with Kit. See you later.